house of the Pharisee. Remember, Jesus was invited, you know, by the, the tax collector. So they were, you know, marrying, eating, and and this woman came. I mean, and you know, this is not something that is allowed in a day. She came there bold. I don't know where she got that boldness from because I mean, she understood that that is society. You, I mean, a woman coming in the midst of men, you know, these are these are these are these are men, rabbis. These are you know, because I mean, that was a time where, by based on the tradition, the man defines what's going on. But Jesus was changing the order, was changing the tradition. Not only did Jesus allow this woman that some translation calls a prostitute, but Jesus allowed this small who this woman to penetrate this atmosphere that is controlled and guarded by men. Not only did she come close to Jesus, the Bible says she began to wash the feet of Jesus. With the tears of our eyes. God. Forget. The, the, please remember that. Re- creation. Creation. Man or woman. Are designed equally. What defines us. What defines our difference. Is our assignment. Man and woman. Are created equally. What defines us, what separates us, what differentiates us is our assignment as a man or as a woman. And their assignment reflects our authority. I always like to put it this way. A man is designed to be a a visionary. He's, He's visionary by nature. The woman She's designed by design to be a manager. They are all both leaders. But their assignment defines their strength, their mission, their objective, and their values. If we understand that, we'll understand that there's, there's, God is not a sexist. Neither do we have you know, sexism in the body of Christ. No, no, no. No. There is no place in the word of God that says women are relegated to below than the man. No, no, no. We've got, to under, we've got to separate the word of God from traditions of men. Even from the tradition of Judaism. God is not a Jew. <laughs> I like to say that. Sometimes when I say that people look at me, God is not a Jew. God is the creator of the heavens and the earth. He began his project. He began his work of redemption. All right? Through a man. And then through a society, through a community, through a nation. You've got to understand the redemptive journey of the Father. As God would choose a man, he would choose a family, he would choose a tribe, he would choose a nation. To express something in the earth. To reflect something. So, so l- l- let, me, let me quickly go back to what I'm saying. My time is almost up. That you are called to be a devoted human being. Mary understood that. The woman that came and broke the protocol of man. She under- they understood that. And they, they did something. They wanted something. They wanted to connect with God, with their, with their maker. That's it. Because, you see, in the place of devotion, you want to connect back. You know, it's like you having a car, you know, that, that, you, know, that you service monthly. But you know that daily you've got to check. You've got to check everything. Is everything intact? You've got to check your, your fuel. You've got to check your oil gauge and all that. If you don't do that, you know that one of these days you're going to have, you know, an engine knock and you're going to be stranded. So you've got to daily, because you see, every aspect of your being is sourced by God. Your doctor may give you a bill of, a, you know, a bill of right that yes, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know that you are okay, you 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 know you you're fine, you know you you you're sound. <laughs> but who tells you that your spiritual life is sound? While the doctor may look at you and say, yes, you're, you're fine. I'll give you a bill of right. You're okay. You, you know, you, you're, 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 you're doing well. There's, there's no, nothing broken, nothing taken. Your, your body system is working fine. You have good health. But 
The doctor cannot tell you if your spiritual condition is right. No. Only the Father can do that. And he can only do that when you bring yourself to him. Daily. Because it's from there that he begins to show you things. Oh, tomorrow I'm going to be sharing. I hope I'll I'll be on air tomorrow. I'm going to be sharing things that happens in the place of devotion. Like I said yesterday, my prophetic journey began from my devotional life. I didn't begin this walk because I was ambitious, because I was zealous, or because I had, you know... um, a desire to be a prophet or no, no, no. Yes, I've been chosen before the foundation of the earth, but I became aware of this grace of the school by engaging with my father in the place of devotion. What I'm saying is you are there. You, you, wherever, wherever you are right now, you're searching, looking for, you're reading materials, you, you're doing all kinds of things. Just to find out, why am I here in the world? What's my purpose? Why am I alive? Why am I born into this world? Why why am I where I am today? Why am I in South Africa? Why am I in America? Why am I in Europe? Why, Why is all this happening? All this question of why, 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 you can resolve them if, first of all, you embrace the first and the most important ministry in your life. Build an altar. When you begin to engage with God, ah, my God, your life starts opening up. It's like prayer opens the page of your, of your entire life. You, you begin to read from page one. This is who you are. This is, you see, it's in prayer that, you are, that you, are, you, are, you are introduced to yourself. They introduce you to yourself in the place of prayer. Prayer just not, it does not just introduce you to God. Prayer also introduces you to you. You can read a thousand books about purpose. You will never know yourself as you will, as God will reveal you to you in the place of prayer. Because prayer is not about getting things. Prayer is first about discovering who you are and knowing who he is. I think there's a good place to stop. And we'll pick it up again tomorrow. I am so, so grateful to God for Given me such a privilege again to come across your way this morning on this platform. To share his life, to share his word, to share his mind with you. I want to believe that that which you've heard today will bring you to the place of deciding. Of deciding. Because guess what? When you get to that point of an awakening, And that can come even through an accident. And suddenly, your life passed before you in the moment. Then you find yourself, your leg is hanged, you know, in the hospital. Or you you are really praying just to to be alive. You are not going to think of, you know... The money you have, the car you have, the house you've built, and all these great things that you've achieved. One thing that is going to come to your heart is, am I ready to meet with my God? Have I done? Have I fulfilled his purpose? Have I done what he's called me to do? And that is not a threat. That is a reality. That's a reality that when you stand before God, at that point when you know that, hey, I may die here. What comes to your mind? It's not this thing that you seek, you run after. You see, these are the things that the Gentiles seek after. What what comes to your mind is, am I ready? Where am I going? You don't need an accident to happen to you. To daily ask yourself that question. To daily engage yourself. In the matters that pertains to eternity. A devoted person. Always find. And walk. In the very essence of his or her existence. 
So, Father, I thank you. As your word goes forth into the atmosphere, you, sh- you said to me, if you can take the atmosphere, if you can take the atmosphere, you can take the land. And you've given me this platform to speak into the atmosphere of nations starting from South Africa. That this word will go forth like a mighty wave all across the land, all across the continent, all across the nations, penetrating lives, homes, families. The people will find their true place and their true purpose and essence in you. So they will not engage life to survive. They will engage life knowing fully well that they are called to be light and salt. Oh, Father, thank you. You spoke to me about Daniel. We couldn't touch that. Thank you for you for your leading. For I just love you, Father, for the way you 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 leading and guiding my steps. And I believe it's going to minister to many out there. Just want to pray for you right now. If you're listening, you're sick in your body. Receive healing. You're confused. Let your mind come to rest in Jesus' name. You feel discouraged. Be encouraged now in the name of Jesus. You feel downtrodden in the name of Jesus right now. Be empowered. Be awakened in Jesus' name. Let life come to you. The life of God. I pray right now that you will begin to find your way back to that place of worship, of honor. You say, if you claim you honor me, if you claim I am your God, where is my honor? That you will begin today, begin to give him the due time, his due place in your life. That God will cease to be secondary in your life. That he will become not just primary but everything you need and you long for. Oh Father, thank you. I give you glory. Oh, hallelujah. Kondoro boshike yanda. Le ba 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 koto le ba 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 ba. I decree and I declare upon you this day that as you step into life, as you go out, that the favor of God will follow you. That the grace of God will lead you. That the hand of the Lord will be your shield. That no weapon of the enemy from the fashion against you will prosper. That you will realize who you are in in the Father. That you will dwell under his canopy. That you will move under his wings. That you will not be afraid. For he has not given to you the spirit of fear. Oh. Let your world begin to change. Let your thought begin to change. Let your mind begin to. Yes receive renewal right now. As you engage the word of God. Let there be a renewal of your mind. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, receive healing to your body. Receive healing into your mind. Receive healing into your soul. Let your spirit be alive, be awakened in the name of Jesus. It is well with you. It is well with your home. It is well with your family. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Amen. Well, if you've you've listened to this... um, broadcast would like you to uh, continue to encourage you know you know this initiative please do like uh, uh, our page you know do leave a comment there and uh, let's just see what the father will do you know the more you like the page the more you comment the more it it, it helps you know to really rate um, this you know broadcasting initiative online you know, and through the, the web page. So I would really appreciate that you, you drop a word, you, you say something, and um, yes, thank you so much. Just give us a thumb up. Hallelujah. God bless you.